In this video, we're going to show you the hookup between a Fataba S bus receiver and the TG Multi. To hook it up in S bus mode, you need one male to male plug. Hook up one to the male to male to the S bus port on the Fataba receiver. And hook up the other end of the male to male to port one on the TG Multi. That's our S bus and power connection. You need to hook up your uh, BEC and ESC, your throttle hookup, to port two on the TG Multi. That's where your power will come in, and the power will be transferred back to your S bus receiver through this cable. Once this is hooked up, you need to hook up your rotor servos, which will go into port 3, 4, 5, and 6. Port 3 is your front left rotor. Port 4, port 4 is your back left rotor. Port 5 is your back right rotor. Port 6 is your front right rotor. So you're going to take your servo from your front left servo, from your front left rotor, Plug it into port 3, your servo from your back left rotor, plug it into port 4, your servo from your back right rotor, plug it into port 5, then your servo from your front right rotor, plug it into port 6. And that's it. That's your whole hookup. You have your S bus receiver plugged in with your power transfer and your communication. You have your BEC plugged in to port 2 for throttle and power in. And then you have your four rotors plugged in. Now you just need to bundle your wires, run some Velcro around it, and you're ready to go. One note on the Fataba receiver are the antenna wires. I take one wire push it underneath the bottom of the canopy, or underneath inside on the bottom, push it to the other side, double stick tape it under the tray, same thing with the other wire but on this side, just double stick tape it under the tray, and then it stays below the canopy, has very good signal strength. 